Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's episode of the Ivy University Hollywood Minute. We've got a lit show for you today. Are Jacob Sartorius and Millie Bobby Brown talking again? And why Kim K says that she's going to dial back from posting her bikini selfies? What are what are you doing here? I have it reserved. No, I have this reserved from Professor Jarvis. Um, I have it reserved with Dean Warmer for <sighs> Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay, well, what are you even do what uh, do you do? I'm going to talk about how great PVF is. Okay, that's really lame. PVF? PVF is pretty cool. Uh, okay, boomer, just, just, bye. Uh, well, that was weird. Um, you know what's not weird? Another episode of Did You Know? Industrial Valkyrie University presents... Did you know? Did you know that with proper editing, you can go from a cold open to a table full of beautiful, precious PVF? Did you know that? Ready for a powerhouse lesson on elbows. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Industrial Valco University. I am your host, Professor Jim. Today, we're going to be talking about fittings that can change the flow, otherwise known as elbows. Now, the first thing you need to know, elbows are found in every class of piping. An elbow changes the direction of the run and therefore changes the flow by joining pipe at an angle. The bend of the elbow is done in degrees, so simply enough, if the elbow is 90 degrees, then the run is 90 degrees. The most common elbows will be 45, 90, and 180 degrees. However, the right machine shop, which we have here at Industrial Valco headquarters in beautiful Compton, California, you know, home of Snoop Dogg and NWA. We can fit the bend to whatever the need you might have. Now, the degrees are based on a 360 degree circle and the degree change will depend on what your customer or end user will want for the change in the flow of the run. There's really three types of elbows that we work with in the industrial world. The first one is the short radius, where the center line radius is equal to the pipe diameter. The short radius is used for limited spaces. As you see here, it has sharper curves, which creates a greater drop in pressure and increased stress. The second type is an LR90, or in this case, a long radius. It has a longer distance, thus making a longer, more gentler turn. For this most common L, the center line radius is one and a half diameter of the pipe. The third type of elbow is the 3R elbow. This elbow has a bending radius of three times the normal pipe size. As we go to the overhead camera, you can see the difference in the three sizes. Okay, so that is the 3R, the LR, and the SR. All right, let's talk about 180 elbows or the return bend. Now, this is easy to find, it's shaped like a U or a smiley face or a sad face if your customer's being mean. Either way, it is used for two lengths of parallel pipe. So that in turn will turn the direction of the flow. With a 180 elbow, you will have an open return bend like the one you see here. Okay, class, very good. All right, let's talk about sizing. So when you do the sizing, when you order the piece, it should be the size of the pipe that fits the fitting. So in this instance, we have a two inch fitting and we have a two inch pipe. Therefore, in this case, you would get a two inch, 90 degree elbow. When you need to connect two different sizes of pipe, what you would use is a reducing L or a reducing elbow, as you see here. These reducing elbows produce less turbulence and cause fewer pressure problems. They will also decrease the number of joints because you won't need a reducer or a coupling to fit the smaller pipe. When ordering the size for the reducing elbow, be sure you always start with the larger side. So in this case, it would be a two inch by one inch reducing elbow or reducing 90. While we have a second, let's quickly talk about another reducing elbow and it's a street 90. So the street 90 has a male end on one side and a female end on the other side. These elbows will also be called service L's or even fitting L's. All right, gang, we covered a lot in a very short time, so let's review what we talked about today. First, we learned an elbow changes the direction of the pipe. Secondly, the most common elbows are 90, 45, and 180 degrees. The three types of elbows are long radius, short radius, 
and 3R. And number four, a street elbow has a male end and a female end. So we have a couple of moments left. We're gonna actually take a question from the studio audience. Young man, before we go, uh, what were you just in the uh, play Newsies? <laughs> Sorry, uh, Canada's calling. They wanted their tuxedo back. Uh, that's not cool. This is a very expensive shirt. Okay. Well, What's my, your question? My first question is, what is the circumference of the Earth? Uh, that's weird to ask that in a PVF show, but it's uh, simple. It's 24,901 miles. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that was a trick question. The Earth is actually flat, so... Oh boy, here we go. All right, what's your second question? Uh, where can I find all of these products? Now that's a question I can answer with excitement. Right here at iValco.com you can buy this and 25,000 other line items with speedability. That means in stock, air free, or two hours or less. Thank you for joining us and have a great day. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you do not miss a class. Also, be sure to go to iValco.com where you can get more information and resources for the items that you saw and also have the opportunity to purchase these items with our 24-7 online ordering. Also, be sure to visit our partners at the American Supply Association or ASA.net for additional training and courses that are tailored for all areas of the supply chain management.